Hi everyone, it's Mr. Hessian. I just want to explain what we're doing in class. Uh, today you are doing the Weathering and Erosion Station Lab. This comes with two packets. One is the student answer packet that I'm showing you right now. And the other one is the class copy that we'll refer to as we need. So starting off with station one, station one is a read it. Uh, that read it has a reading about acid rain and then answer the questions here. I will put a PDF of the acid rain read it portion in Schoology if you need it. Station two is a watch it video. The watch it video you can link right here or you can type in Lego Steve stream table and answer the three questions about the video. Station three will be conducting the launch lab. Uh, the launch lab has you do a couple of different things. Let me show it to you real quick here. Um, you're going to actually answer the questions in the packet. So what I'm going to have you do is go to the station lab uh, slideshow. And you can see right here is a video on how to do the launch lab if you don't know how to weigh out the sugar. Essentially what you're doing in the launch lab is you are putting a, a sugar cube in a container of water and then the same amount of granulated sugar in a container of water and stirring and making observations to see which one dissolves fastest. Station four is organize it. You're just going to put letters in these charts to organize these statements. Are they examples of mechanical weathering or chemical weathering? So for the first one, ice getting into cracks and breaking rocks, we know that's mechanical weathering. You would go to your assignment and put the letter A under mechanical weathering. The last station you're doing is an illustrated, and that's the color by number. Uh, I will put this also in Schoology, uh, color by number. There'll be a PDF of it. Let me get rid of that part. So what this has you do is answer the question, which term refers to the process that breaks down rocks into smaller pieces? Is that erosion, weathering, and deposition? If you think it's erosion, you color everything listed with a number one on the other side as purple, weathering would be brown, and deposition would be orange. The correct answer to this one would be choice B. And so you will use the brown color to color all the ones on the next page. And so we go to the picture here. And so this area here would be colored brown, as would this area. And if you can find, here's another color down here that's a one. Looks like all the number ones, looks like three sections that you'll be coloring brown. Okay, that is the station lab. Hopefully that makes sense and helps you complete it. Um, let me know if you have any questions.